Though George and the SAN had been in the custody of the EFCC since the 8th of November, the Commission had obtained an order of the Magistrate Courts to remand them while it wrapped up its investigations. A 30-count charge was then preferred against them, and the EFCC leads them to the courtroom of Justice Akimo Shodi of the Lagos High Court, sitting in the Keja area. In the first two counts, Senior Advocate of Nigeria Godwin Obla, who is the second defendant in this case, is charged with conspiracy and attempts to pervert the course of justice with a sum of 5 million naira, an offence said to be contrary to Section 97.1 of the Criminal Laws of Lagos State. In counts 3 and 4, the EFCC says he offered gratification to a public official, contrary to Section 64, subsection 1 of the same law. Honorable Justice Ophelia Jumogobia, who is the first defendant, is a public official he allegedly tried to bribe, and she is charged in counts 5 to 30 with unlawful enrichment, forgery, and giving false information to the EFCC. The EFCC says she allegedly received huge sums of money in dollars and naira so as to have a significant increase in her assets. The Commission also says that she could not reasonably explain the increase in relation to her lawful income as a public official. Both defendants pleaded not guilty to all the charges, and their lawyers made a case for their bail on self-recognizance or on liberal terms. The EFCC, however, objected to the application for bail and submitted that the defendants, even while in custody, tried to interfere with investigation and witnesses. Presiding Justice Akimo Shodi retired for over two hours to consider his ruling, and when he returned, he agreed with the defense team, led by Mr. Wale Akoni SAN, that the EFCC had placed no evidence before the court that they were a flight risk and would not turn up for their trial. Since the offenses were ordinarily bailable, Justice Oshodi exercised his discretion and admitted the defendants to bail on self-recognizance. The defendants are also to deposit their travel passports and 20 million naira with the chief registrar of the Lagos High Court within seven days, otherwise the bail will be revoked. We are confident that they will also come to court uh, and in the unlikely event that they want to take any steps to uh, uh, prejudice us, we know what to do as the prosecuting agency in the case. After the ruling, the EFCC immediately called its first witness, one at Demola Oshodi, a staff of Diamond Bank. As our account officer, he testified of how he often helped the judge move various sums of money from her chambers or her home to the bank. The court eventually adjourned proceedings at the instance of the defense team who wanted to be able to confer with their clients so as to offer a robust defense to the testimony of the witness. Since the defendants had been in custody and would need time to prepare their case, parties agreed to continue proceedings on the night of January 2017. Shola Shiele, Channels Television News.